ഓം സദാശിവ സമാരംഭാം ശങ്കരാചാര്യ മധ്യമം അസ്മദാചാര്യപര്യം താമന്തേ ഗുരുപരമ്പരാം സമസ്ത ജനകല്യാണി നിരതം കരുണാമയം നമാമി ചിന്മയം ദേവം സദ്ഗുരും ബ്രഹ്മവിദ്വരം അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ് ജോയ് സോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ് ജോയ് ടുഡേ ബിഗിനിങ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് So this is a sloka and the meaning, ultimate joy. I missed recording, repeating it. <laughs> okay, right. So today's topic is ultimate joy. This is a sloka. We read this sloka, then we will see the meaning. Brahma Indra Adi Marud Ganana Trina Ganan Yatra Stito Manyate യത് സ്വാദാത് വിരസാഭവന്തി വിഭവാഹ ത്രൈലോക്യ രാജ്യാദയ ഭോഗഹ കോപി സ ഏക ഏവ പരമോ നിത്യോദിതെ ജൃംബത്തെ ഭോ സാധോ ക്ഷണഭങ്കുരേ തീതരെ ഭോഗേ രതിം മാകൃതാഹ മാകൃതാഹ ഇസ് വെരി ഈശാവാസമിതം ഇടകം സർവം യത്കിഞ്ച ജഗത്യാം ജഗത് തേന തെക്തേന ഭുഞ്ചിത മാകൃത കസ്യ സ്വിദ്ധന Makrita, makrita, makrita. Don't do it. Don't do it. So don't involve. That's the meaning. Now, meaning is <coughs> Brahma Indra Adi Marudganan Trinaganan Yatrasthito Manyati Yatrasthita The person who stands or established Yatrasthito means in Brahman only. Yasmin Sthito Na Dukke Na Guru Na Api Vichalyati Bhagavan Krishna says in 6th chapter Once we establish in, in Brahman, Yatra Stito, Yasmin Stitaha, Yatra Stitaha Manyate. What Manyate? Brahma, Indra, Adi, Marudgana, all the Devatas, where Brahma, Indra and other host of gods. Here gods means Devatas. All the Devatas. So how many gods you have? When you translate this <laughs> into God, then you will get problem. The language also makes so much of problem in our system. So here God means Devata. Otherwise, when they read this host of gods, means in Hinduism, you have so many gods. What is this? In our religion, we have only one God. Because the translation also gives more confusion. All the Devatas. What kind of Devata? Brahma, Indra, Adi, Marud, Ganan. Marud, Indra, Brahma. All the Devatas. 33. crores of devatas we have uh, this is the powers the in charge of the nature vayu indra marudgana agni there so many devata ashwini kumara devatas are yatra sthitah trinakana all these devatas has become orthas little as blades of grass very powerful like we are all ordinary human being with limited power we are living in our own field of activities small house four or five people only we have because we asked something we asked dharma we lost two people they went away from our home why we talked about dharma <laughs> they don't like that kind of dharma very small area small people very limited life this is our condition what bhartra hari says if you become a, a, a what that sadaka spiritual sadaka you do all shravana marana nidhi dhyasana and you attain that brahman once if you attain that brahman yatra sthitah once if you establish in this brahman brahma indra adi marudgana adi all these 33 crores of devatas including brahma deva what is the status of brahma and indra all these devatas will look like blades of grass <laughs> what a powerful light 
Now people in our own house, they consider us like a blade of grass. We became a blade of grass for them. Now, all these devatas will become blade or the blades of grass. Trinakana, Trina. Okay? Now you can understand the power of the Brahmasthiti. Yes, we get that kind of so see out of arrogance, we don't respect that is different. <laughs> so that comes out of ignorance. The man can imagine that uh, for Brahma, for me, Brahma is Trina, Indra Trina. <laughs> I consider this whole world as Trina, out of ignorance, out of arrogance, we can say like, we imagine like that. Out of the experience of Brahman, the sadhaka gets this kind of, uh, what do you put, not attitude. So, just he sees the fact like this. Okay. The power of Brahmasthiti. Next. Yat swadat. Swad means tasting. Yat swadat virasa bhavanti vibhavaha trailogya rajya adaya. Where taste is last for the greatest possession. So, we last so we have what that given up our taste for this whole world. Virasa bhavanti yat swadat. Once if we taste this Brahman, then all the vivavaha, all the, the glorious thing, the possessions will become tasteless. Vibhavaha virasa bhavanti. Virasa means tasteless. Once if we tasted the Brahman, all the trilogya rajya adayaha, trilogya rajya. So then what to talk about the company of is the property in this world. Even Trilogya Raja also will become tasteless. Like the sovereignty over the three worlds. Yeah, Trilogya Raja, no need to have a translation. You will understand very easily. Trilogya Raja understood. Okay. The point is, the Devatas, Marudgara, Devatas and Trilogya Raja. All this will become meaningless. <coughs> The interesting thing is, we are practicing that. I don't want Trilogya Raja. I don't want any help from Devata. We practice from the beginning stage. Once we attain, automatically there is no need to practice. Everything will drop from us. Everything will be dropped automatically. Once we reach it. Because all the... Because we, whenever we see... Uh, the people in a higher position, higher standard, we give respect. We want to make friendship with them. Why? He is in a very higher position. I want to make friendship with you. No need of any friendship. All the devatas are looking like blades of grass. And Travilogi Rajamapi Virasa Bhavan. Why? He is tasting another, other kind of Joy, the bliss. Once if you get the bliss, this will become like that. Therefore, we heard the story when Alexander entered into India, when he entered in the Himalayan region, he saw Sadhu sitting under the tree, <laughs> enjoying the sunlight, sunrise there. Sunrise in the Himalayas means what? 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's not a flat land. So, uh, what is that? It has to cross the Himalayas. Sitting there under the tree. Alexander came. So he conquered the whole world. He wants to, he wanted to conquer India also. This sadhu was sitting there. And Alexander is expecting that this fellow should respect him. Simply he is sitting there. Viraga Purusha. Viraga means what I am not interested in anything. So Alexander got shocked. So what is this? Why he is behaving like this? Because vanyate. So he is dwelling in Brahman. Therefore, his behavior is like that. Not out of ignorance. Again and again, we have to understand that. When you study one or two Vedantic texts, immediately we also do the bhavana that we realized. <laughs> Sir, just we studied few slokas that saw. So this will take more, more, more time. So you have to work very hard. To get this kind of experience. Okay, the point is, the pleasures will be tasteless. And the positions will be meaningless. That's all. This is what he says. Once we, when we experience the bliss of Brahman. Okay? 
భోగ కోపి స ఏక ఏవ పరమ నిత్యోదితో జృంబత ఏక ఏవ పరమ దట్ బ్రహ్మన్ లో సచ్ ఇస్ యూనిక్ ఎంజాయ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బ్రహ్మన్ ఎంజాయ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్లిస్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రహ్మన్ ఎటర్నల్ సుప్రీమ్ అండ్ ఇమ్యూటబుల్ స ఏక ఓన్లీ వన్ పరమ నిత్యోదితే జృంబత్ ఎటర్నల్ ఓకే భోగ కోపి సో వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ భోగ వి ఆర్ సర్చింగ్ అండ్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ బిహైవ్ వన్స్ ఇఫ్ హీ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ బ్రహ్మన్ ఎవరింగ్ ఇస్ మీనింగ్ లెస్ ఇస్ వాట్ హీ సేస్ భోసాదో భో సాదో క్షణ బంగురే తత ఇతరే భోగే రతిం మా కృత దిస్ ఇస్ ది మెసేజ్ ఫర్ అస్ ఇస్ గివింగ్ ఎస్ అడ్వైస్ హో ప్యూర్ వన్ సాధో మీన్స్ సాధు పురుష హో సాధో ఇండల్జ్ నాట్ ఇన్ ఎనీ ప్లెషర్ దట్ లాస్ట్ నో మోర్ దన్ ఎ మూమెంట్ క్షణ బంగురే ఎనిథింగ్ క్షణ బంగుర యూ నో టేక్ జ్యూస్ బిగ్ గ్లాస్ ఆఫ్ జ్యూస్ ఆల్సో స్మాల్ గ్లాస్ ఆఫ్ జ్యూస్ స్మాల్ టైమ్ బిగ్ గ్లాస్ స్ట్రాంగ్ స్మాల్ గ్లాస్ ఉంటే టూ మినిట్స్ బిగ్ గ్లాస్ మేబీ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఎనో దిస్ విల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ లాస్ మోమెంట్ హీ సేస్ క్షణ బంగురే ఎవరింగ్ ఇస్ మోమెంట్ తత ఇతరే భోగే లైక్ దాట్ ఇన్ అదర్ భోగ ప్లెషర్స్ రతి మాకృత దిస్ ఇస్ ఏ మెసేజ్ ఫర్ ద మైండ్ సో డోంట్ ఇండల్జ్ డోంట్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వెరీ సింపుల్ మెసేజ్ బట్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ సి హౌ టు గెట్ అవుట్ బికాస్ వీ ఆర్ వి ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు గెట్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ విరస ద ప్లెషర్స్ even trilog raj also we consider it is very high this kind of rasa trinagran we never get as long as we are involving the pleasures simple once if we get out then we get this kind of uh, this kind of or the attitude in our mind so the direct information direct message is rathim makrita we have to try this slowly slowly we have to get or that we have to bring back our mind from this kind of pleasures very difficult process analyze and try to bring back analyze try to bring back. this is called pratibaksha pratipaksha bhavana in sanskrit we say that whenever something is attracting we have to see the dosha in that when we see the dosham in that slowly mind is getting back it will come back dosha drishtiya so this dosha drishti we have to develop so generally man develops dosha drishti when somebody is more learned person than me this person is more learned so i will see the dosha in that man i studied he is not practicing how any chant shloka there is so much of problem so much of uh, chanting is not good so we have dosha drishti in unnecessary place so that kind of dosha drishti whenever the objects is pulling us there we have to see the dosha then mind will be withdrawn Okay, this is what Bhagavan Adi Shankara said also says in Bajagomadu we studied. Nari Sthanapara Nabi Desham Drishtva Maha Moha Desham Etatum Mamsa Vikar Manasi Vichyantaya Varam Var Why he brings this kind of shloka? Because mind goes. Therefore, we have to train the mind in such a way that mind will come back. Rathim Makrita means it's not very easy. i think uh, bhadru hari did not know about the pleasure <laughs> sir he is king he was king he enjoyed everything the person who is giving this kind of information enjoyed all the bhoga of rajya bhog so that person analyzed and he is bringing the message okay ratim makrta means we have to see the dosha then only mind will come practically i am telling you. భవసుఖే దోష అనుసంధీయత భగవాన్ ఆదిశంకరాచార్య రైటింగ్ వన్ టెక్స్ట్ సాధన పద్యక్ వి ఆర్ వెరీ ఫెమిలియర్ అబౌట్ సాధన పద్యక్ భవసుఖే దోష అనుసంధీయత టూ పార్ట్స్ ఆర్ దర్ ఇన్ ఎవరీ ప్లెషర్ వన్ పార్ట్ ఇస్ ప్లెషర్ అనదర్ పార్ట్ ఇస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆల్ ద ప్లెషర్స్ ఆర్ ఎండోడ్ విత్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అవర్ తపోన్ మహారాజ్ సేస్ దాట్ ఇఫ్ యూ కన్సిడర్ ప్లెషర్ ఇస్ ద హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ది బాడీ this is pleasure okay suppose you can say the head of the body is pleasure and the pain is th- this whole body 
you were getting the point. Bhagavan, our Tapan Maharaj says, this, this part is pleasure and this part is pain. So what he wants to convey, pleasure part will be very small, pain part, part, part will be uh, the bigger. Getting it or not? <laughs> so you cannot take pleasure without pain. Huh? <laughs> you cannot take. See, if you, if you, if you catch that um, uh, pleasure, pain also will be. Now you consider, instead of a human being, you consider big anaconda. Anaconda. <laughs> small part. The head is small part. If you take the head, the big body of the anaconda also will come. So all the pleasures in this world endowed with the pain. The universal fact. This is called analysis. When we analyze like that, slowly, 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 your mind get matured. Slowly, it will come back. Are you getting the point? Otherwise, simply he says that Abhadra Hari don't get involved in pleasures. Poya, you are not practical. I studied like this so many slokas already. Why unnecessarily you are bringing one more Vairagi? I know. <laughs> Sir, so many times we heard from so many slokas, so many books. Rathim Makrita. How? You tell me how we have to come out. Gosha Drishtya. That is a practical point. Okay? So, Whenever something is attractive, we have to see this. Dosham is there. Okay? Like that only we have to come. Once if we come back and get involved in the Brahman, then the, all the devatas will become stra, blades of grass. And Trilogi Rajam also will become meaningless. See the condition of this Jnana Purusha. Okay? So, goal of life is very high. For a simple, simple thing we are fighting here, goal of life is very high, as shown in our scriptures. Okay? Now, so one sloka from, was one part from Bhagavadam. Sriman, this is from Sriman Bhagavadam, this part. There was a king whose name was Ambarisha. Okay? Ambarisha. This, this, uh, this um, king's story is given in ninth canto of Sriman Bhagavadam. Ambarisha story. Sambarisha, the Sukadeva is explaining this to Parishit Maharaj. Ambarisha Mahabhaga Saptadvipapati Mahim. Saptadvipapati. Saptadvipa means so the whole world is under the control of Ambarisha. He is sitting in Jambudvipa in the Asia. He is sitting in the Asia and controlling the whole world. Saptadvipapati. Getting it? Sambarisha ruled the whole uh, earth. Now, every continent is controlled by every president of the country. Now, small, small countries, islands. Small island, one uh, president is there. What is the population of the island? 10,000 people. One tsunami is enough. Will be washed away. <laughs> so, the whole world is ruled by Ambarisha. In the history, we have to include these kind of things also. Whenever we... The whole world is... Divided by one person, one king. So that king name is Priyavrata. Priyavrata only made this whole world as seven continent, into seven continents. So we have to bring this kind of syllabus also. Sadda Dvivapati Ambarisha Avyayamcha Shriyam Labdva. What do you call it? Imperishable Shriyam. Avyayam, Avyayam, Avyayamcha Shriyam. The wealth is complete. See, he was the ruler of whole world. Popularity and wealth. Extreme thing he has got when he was ruling the country. Okay? This is Ambarisha. Having gained all the things, Ambarisha, the great devotee of Lord, Lord Vishnu, Vasudeve Bhagavati Tad Bhakti Shucha Sadrushu. So he's very much devoted to Lord Vishnu. At the same time, respecting his devotees and sadhu, sadhu purusha. This Ambarisha, praptaha bhavam param vishvam. So he has, he had the attitude. Prap, bhava means attitude. Param bhavam. What kind of attitude has vishvam? He is seeing whole vishvam. Yene idam loshta vatu smritam. Loshta means mud. <laughs> 
So he, he started looking at all the things like meaningless mud. What is this? We also will see everything meaningless mud. Why? We are not king of the Sabda Deepapati. We do not have anything. <laughs> Out of depression. See, everything is mud. Why? I don't get anything. It's out of ignorance. Are you getting the difference? Having gained everything and enjoying everything, he understood everything is mud. Yenedam loshtavat smurtam praptaha parambhavam. He attained that kind of attitude. What a great king lived in this country. Ambarisha. First, you enjoy everything, you see all the life experience. Now, afterwards, you mukta boga paritekta. He enjoyed and he has thrown it out. Why? Nothing is there. What an experience. All the, through the, all the experience, man should learn and man should get maturity. He has to come out. For that only, all the things are made in our, in our scriptures. It's not very uh, practical kind of thing. Only Sanatana Dharma is very, very practical. We take all the religions, they are talking only about Moksha Dharma. Sanadana Dharma only talks about Moksha, Moksha Dharma. Um, along with Moksha Dharma, the path also explained. For all the sadhakas, all kinds of paths are explained. How to attain the Moksha. In other religion, only the Moksha Dharma is there. That's how to get it, we do not know. It's hanging some, somewhere. <laughs> Tell me practically how to go in. This is a very practical thing. Okay. Ene them loshtavatu smritam. This is what Ambarisha. Why Ambarisha is having this kind of attitude? Vasudeva Bhagavati tad bhakti shucha sadhushu. Parambhavam prapta. Because of his devotion towards Lord Vishnu, he attained this kind of state. Okay. This is parallel thought from Srimad Bhagavat. This is not only one uh, king lived like this. So hundreds of kings lived in our country like this. Okay. The point is, when we attach, when we gain that Brahma Stiti, everything will become meaningless. That is the point. Okay? From Chantogya Upanishad, this is very, very popular line. Very, we must have heard this line. Yo vai bhuma tatsukam bhuma. The infinite is bliss. Bhuma means infinite. Infinite. Sukham. Na sukham. Na alpe sukhamasti. Alpa means very... Uh, very, what, there is no bliss in anything finite, very small. Bhuma and Alpam. Alpam, we use this word Alpam in Tamil. Daily we use this Alpam. This word from Upanishad, Alpam. Na alpe. So there is no bliss in anything finite. Finite means so it is controlled by Desha Kala Vastu. So it is controlled by desha and it is living in one particular desha and particular time. It is also away from another object. Desha kala was to parichin. Therefore, it is a very simple alpa. In alpa, there is no sukha. In bhuma, there is sukha. <coughs> Great statement of Chandokya Upanishad. Yo vai bhuma tat sukham nalpe sukham asti. So we have to take mind from alpa. To Bhuma. When we, when we take mind from Alpam to Bhuma, this is called spiritual sadhana. That's all. <coughs> this is called what that? Spiritual journey. What is that? Outside journey, it's inside journey. <laughs> from Alpam to Bhuma. Where are you going? Towards Bhuma. From where? From Alpam. What is your name? Atma Sadaka. Okay? So, the point is where is Bliss. Now, he'll move to next. Okay, so you have to take our mind from Alpa and we have to keep our mind in Bhuma. Once if you get the Bhuma, then everything will become meaningless and tasteless. That's the point. He was conveying. I'm going to the controller. Time the controller. Time is controller of everything. So he is worshipping time here. Very nice shloka, okay? This is a shloka. And you'll see the meaning. Sa Ramya Nagari, Ramya Nagari. Mahansa Nirupati, Samanta Chakram Chatatu. Parshwe Tasacha Sa Vidagda Parishatu. 
ताह चंद्र बिंबारणा उद्वृत्त स च राजपुत्र ते वंदिन सर्वं यस्य वशग वशद वशादगात स्मृति पथम कालाय तस्म नम श्लोक कालाय तस्म नम सैम वर्षिपिंग ऐम प्रास्ट्रेट द काल देव अंडरस्टांडिंग अबउट द पवर ऑफ काल टाइम एंड हिस् वर्षिपिंग वाट टाइम इज डूइंग ना या ससा रम्या नगरी दट एंटिंग सिटी रम्या नगरी ऐ हव ग्लोरिय सिटी वेरी पवरफुल सिटी एवरीथिंग इज आर्गनज वेरी वेल ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स वाटर सप्ले ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स एलेक्ट्रिसटी सप्ले ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स गैस नो सुनामी नो सैक्ल रम्या नगरी दट कई ऑफ नगर महान स निरपति द ग्रेट किंग Mahan, oh, a great king, has got very great city. Samanta chakram chetad parshve tasse chay sa vidagda parishat. That great king surrounded by his subordinates. Antas chakra, no? surrounded by chakram itself, surrounded by. Samya ka antas chakram, tadu parshve and clever advisers. Parishat, ne vidagda parishat. The great king sitting in powerful city, living in powerful city, and surrounded by clever kings and subordinates. Anything he wants, he will get immediately. This is condition. Ta Chandra Bimba Rana by his sights, beauties with a moon-like face. You understood what is this? One side this, and another side ministers. Okay, city is very glorious. Yeah, all the comforts is getting. Who is that king? Utvrta, Utvrta, such a raja putra, even a headstrong princess means very uh, brilliant princess. His sons, brilliant sons, princess, raja putra. I don't know the princess, uh, prince, princess, yeah? but in feminine gender also princess, eh? C C double S or you understand this is Jaraja Putra, not Putri. Okay, so it's a plural form of prince. That's a, it's a very easy to plural form of prince. <laughs> I heard princess, princesses, plural form of prince. Raja Putra, yeah, plural. Okay, so Raja Putra anyway. So he's with his own sons. ते वंदी ने ताका था। The court musicians, no, there is there are people to engage. Him. All comers, no enemy in that country. There is no enemy in that country, okay? And this man has become king. Very nice city. There is no problem in that. All comers with his wives, children. Children are very great. What the headstrong musicians, the light music people. They are giving entertainment. Clever uh, ministers, okay. In our case, wife also problem, children also problem. The <laughs> all the servants also creating problem. The company, own house also they are not coming and or working in the company or that. And our house is leaking in tsunami. Before tsunami come, before cyclone comes, the top is going away. So in all the places we have problem, but this king has got everything perfect. Everything is even though. You get everything is with the complete or the uh, fulfillment. Sarvam yasya vashagat. Yeah, all this thing, whose control? Okay, under under your sway, all this passed away to form mere memories. Smriti patam. All this thing will be, become smriti patam. Once upon a time, there lived a king. This place. How many museums we visited? How many museums? So many museums all over the world. Museum means what? The time is <laughs> washed away. Whatever is remaining, that is called museum. <laughs> That's all. So whenever we visit museum, we have to understand one thing: our life also will become like this. But nobody will keep museum for us. Why? Nothing is there to keep. 
you know, certificate also already, we lost the certificate. <laughs> Medal also, we lost somewhere. Cup already is broken. So there is no museum <laughs> for us. Museum means what? The great king lived and washed away by time. All positive things he brought, okay? So there's no problem with this king. The king is, has got everything. So whatever we want to have in our life, everything is fulfilled. Even this kind of king, Sarvam Yasya Vasha, vasha Vashadagat, Smriti Patam, everything will become memory. Okay? But Kala Yatasmai Namaha, you are the great glorious time. All this kind of um, life will become Smriti Patam. That's become memory. Nalanda University, once upon a time, in India, great university was functioning. All over the world, students used to come and they studied so many, uh, what do you call, the subjects. So many professors. Thousands of students all over the world. It's very, very popular. Now, where is Nalanda? Only small that area. Some bricks. That's all. This is called Nalanda. Now, you just... Uh, Type in Alanda, Nalanda will memory, Smurti Patam Darsa, Takshafila, like that, God. Sindhu, uh, what do you call it? Sindhu Saraswati, civilization. Once upon a that was a glorious civilization uh, on this earth, Sindhu Saraswati civilization. We do not know what happened, completely eradicated, fast away. So, all the things, glorious things in this world will be washed away by time. Therefore, he says, Kala yet asmai namaha. I am doing prostration to you, old Kala. Therefore, Krishna also says, Kala kalayata maham. I am the time. Bhagavad Gita he says in this glory, in the 10th chapter, Kala kalayata maham. I am the time. So, Kala will take everything. Everything will be washed up. Twelve year old, when we were twelve year old, everything is now everything is washed away. Time only is taken up. Now nothing is there. Slowly, slowly is going up. Who's taking all the things? Time is washing. <laughs> like this. Time is washing everything. Kala all the positive. The one, then what to talk about the negative um, kind of that or that life? Even this kind of positive uh, life itself is washed away. Then what to talk about the negative? Therefore, whenever, whenever whatever happens in our life, we don't need to worry. Time will be, time will wash away everything. That's all. Everything will change. So one day we will die. Completely will be washed away. So everything will be not permanent. That is the point he is telling. Okay? Even though we may get glorious life, that life will become very short period. Now see, you this. Uh, the sloka reminds us, Nachiketa. Nachiketa in Kato Upanishad. He says, all the glorious life. He says, our Dharma Raja says, Yama Dharma Raja says, I will give you this many, um, what do you call, pleasures. You can live in this world so many years. Whatever you want, you take. Nachiketa says, sir, whatever you give, everything will be very fraction of second in this glorious time. Meaningless. I don't want anything. Please tell me the secret of death. So, Parikshim, our um, Nachiketa understood there itself. Why? Viraga Purusha. He understood the glorious, the great uh, Sadaka. He understood. I don't want anything. You tell me about that Brahman. So, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mithya. The thing is, here Kala is washing away everything and everything Ashashwatam and everything Anityam and everything is Mithyat. Not only Ashashwatam, not only Anityam, it's Mithya also. Very beautiful views you will get when you analyze this sloka. Okay? You will reflect more on this. Sir, Ashashwatam, Anityam. Anitya means what? Completely, what that we die and we move away completely from this world. This is called Anitya. When we are living, Nitya, okay, when we die and we'll be washed away from this world, 
anityam while we are living our body is getting changed that's called ashashvatam we are there but our body is getting changed ashashvatam completely one day we'll die and move away from this world anityam okay even though this is anityam and ashashvatam the whole body is nothing but mithya only so mithya anityam ashashvatam therefore uh, how can we develop that kind of attachment with this kind of world even then we are attached that is the beauty of maya <laughs> having understood this much attachment is there that is maya okay so here he is not talking about maya or all those things kala ye tasmay va kala is watching away everything so glorious car okay the mad world very mad world the whole world is nothing but mad people filled with mad people says <laughs> this shloka okay shloka meaning that's adityasya gata gataihi aha ahar har samkshiyate jeevitam vyaparaihi bahu karya bara gurbihi kaulopi na nyayate drishtva janma jara vipatti maranam trasascha utpadyate pitva mohamayim ప్రమాద మదిరాం ఉన్మత్త భూతం జగత్ జగత్ ఉన్మత్త భూతం ద హోల్ వరల్డ్ బికమ్ మ్యాడ్ విల్ సి ద మీనింగ్ అబ్జర్వింగ్ ది యూనివర్స్ అండ్ ఇస్ బ్రింగింగ్ ఆల్ ద విజ్డమ్ ఆదిత్య గత ఆగతై అహర అహర్ అహహ అహంక్షీయతే జీవితం జీవితం with the sun rising and setting daily adityasya gata agataihi suddenly the scientific uh, student will come aditya will will never move from its place only the um, globe only is moving around aditya uh, accepted but practical life in practical life we see sunrise and sunset okay we understood that scientific fact but in the, in the transactional life you say sunrise sunset because we are living from another standpoint so therefore we have to understand adityasya gata agataihi means the revolving of this uh, earth agataihi ahara daily samkshiyate jeevita daily we are losing our age time is passing away by sunrise and sunset every day every day it's going we are moving as soon as we took birth we are moving towards cremation ground <laughs> but nobody is reminding us <laughs> when we go and remind hey you are moving <laughs> towards cremation ground that person starting this car he is sitting in the car about to start you are telling her you are moving towards cremation ground no no need to tell that time it's frightening <laughs> at that time when we are telling that that time some fox also is crying oh like that all limitas are not good that as soon as we take birth we are moving towards death so gata gata hi ahara samkshi jeevitam is going on vyaparaihi bahu karya bara gurubhi kalopi na vignayate vyaparam we have to vyaparam means in tamil also vyaparam means activities we say business is vyapar so what kind of vyaparam the time passes unknowing unknowingly under the heavy burden of various activities vyaparam means activities bahu karya so many activities bhar gurubihi bhar very heavy work tension pressure we have taken up i am very busy with so many activities very busy very heavy work unnecessary pressure we only have taken బహు కార్య బార గురుభి వ్యాపారై అవర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ బిసీ ఓహో వాట్ అ గ్రేట్ పర్సన్ యు ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ అవర్స్ స్మాల్ రెస్పెక్ట్ విల్ గెట్ వెన్ ఎస్ఐ లైక్ దట్ వెరీ బిసీ ఓ వాట్ అ గ్రేట్ పర్సన్ వ్యాపారై బహుభి గురు బార గురుభి కాలోపి విజ్ఞాయితే సో వి నెవర్ థింక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ టైమ్ టైమ్ ఇస్ fly because we when we are engaged in the activity time will fly 
particularly those who are sitting in the computer and all, eh? the IT department computer. You go and sit in the computer, start the computer, sit in the computer, you do not know how time flies. When you go to kitchen, time will not fly. Kitchen, okay, time will not fly. When you go to Vedanta class, time never moves. Nada. After five minutes, you should only one mantra, only you study it. Five minutes. Ah. One hour class, one and a half hour class. Put off camera. Camera close. Only this fellow is talking. Kala, you just mind. Okay, okay. Still classes going on. How <laughs> long? One and a half too much. One hour itself is too much. One and a half. Who argues this? Uncle only. It's okay. Then it's okay. This way, <laughs> then the class moves very slowly. If you don't like any job, it moves like so, so slowly. But we are engaged with Vyaparaihi Bahukari Bhargur, very heavy work. So many work. When we engage, we do not know how time flies. We, we don't have time. We are, we, we are very busy with many activities. Okay? Unnecessarily, we should not take so many activities. See, taking so many activities is not karma yoga. We have to understand that. So, from uh, till from 5 o'clock morning and night 10 o'clock, I'm very busy, I'm very busy, very busy schedule. Sir, you are not working like a sadhaka, you are working like a servant. Ramakrishna Paramahansa once, he, he told to a sadhaka, hey, don't work like a servant. Work like karma yogi. Unnecessary work, delete from your work. Unnecessary, don't engage anything. So whatever is needed, you take it. And you work on that. And with relaxed mind, you move, move with your life. Don't engage so much. And don't have so much of time also to relax. Okay, yukta hara vihara sa, yukta chesta sa karma sa, yukta sopanava bodha sa, yoga bhavati dukkha. Krishna limited work. You need to have some time also to think and to study, reflect. Okay? But when we take up so many work, we do not know how time flies. That's what he says. We are not aware of our time. Time has gone unnecessarily. Drishtva janma jara vipatti maranam trasaschana utpadyate. We are losing our time by taking up, undertaking all unnecessary activities. And daily sunrise and sunset, we do not know how our time goes. Drishtva Janma Jara Vipati Maranam Trasaschana Utpadya. Having seen, watching birth, aging, suffering, and death, no distress is felt. Distress means here, Trasascha, Trasascha na Utpadya. We are not, we are not getting any fear by seeing Janma Jara Vipati Maranam, the accident. We are not getting any Vairagya. Maranam also, we are not getting Vairagya. So we see one day, Everybody will move away one day. We also go, we chant some sloka as well. One day we also will go. So everybody says like that in every death. One day means what? Next day only. Or next week or next month. But it's a philosophical one day. Everybody will move away from this world. No. Huh? Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> we go and we say, don't worry. Atma Satya. Jagan Mithya. Budbudavat, this body is like uh, that, um, bubbles in the water. Asamsa jirnani yata vihaye, davani girnati naroparani, tata sharirani vihaye jirnani, anyani samyati navani dehi. Top. After this sloka, we also fall. Why? Anyani samyati navani dehi. <laughs> we also started moving to another that body to take. Maranam. Whenever you see Maranam, you have to get ready. Vipati, you have to get ready. Jara Maranam. Janma Jara Vipati Maranam. Trasaschana Utva. Having seen this kind of experience, we are not getting Vairagya. Buddha saw only one incident in his life. <coughs> one Marana, one Jara, one what that old age. Finished. He has become, Siddhartha has become Buddha. So it created great impact in his mind. Buddha. Every day we are seeing in our home also we are having all jara, 
Now, Vipati is there. Already he's broken his legs and he's tired. What is that? Lying down like this. Jara, two jaras are there in Mar. No Vairag is coming. <laughs> After seeing this, you have to get Vairag. See, this is enough. Okay? Pitva Mohamayim Pramada Madhiram Unmatta Bhutam This Jagat. For the world has become insane by drinking the intoxicating wine of infatuation. Pitva Mohamayim Madhira Pramada Madhiram Pramada Madhira means what that? Wine. What kind of wine? Mohamayi. The brand name is called Mohamayi Brandi. In, <laughs> in English, it's called brandy, na? right? Is the spelling is okay? D Y or D I? D Y U. Brandy. Branti. In Sanskrit, it's branti. <laughs> Brahti means confusion. Branta. We say in, in uh, Malayalam Mandal, they say Branta. Right? Branta means mad person. Branta. So, so this Branta has got the root from Sanskrit Branti. This Branti, actually, the pronunciation should be like this only. Branti should be there. But they say like, because of the stylish English, the instead of Branti is not good. It's a Brandy. Yeah, that's good. The sound is good. Brandy. <laughs> you say in English, Branti. Yeah. It's not a nice sound. Brandy. Okay, their name is very perfect name. The person who has got this kind of Mohamayim Pramada Madhiram. Mohamayim Madhiram. Pitwa. Okay, because of this Branti, Unmatta Bhutam, he has become mad. Philosophically, is very big. Internal. Internally, the man, the mind drinks this kind of moha, it becomes mad. The external level, proper brandy with brown color or white color or whatever the color, the different color they make. <laughs> external. Then he drinks, he also becomes like un matta bodham jagat. Very perfect coincidence. The external brandy, internal brandy. Because Bhartuhari says this internal branti, this is a pitwa having drunk. Mohamayim Madhiram, Pramada Madhiram, Unmatta Bhudam, all this world has become, what is that, mad. Just to sit in some place and just watch the people. One person is going here, another person attached to one thing, money, branti. Pleasure Branti, Power Branti. Simply sit and watch, so you will understand what our Bhartu Hari says. Unmutta, unmatta Bhutam Jagat. Whole Jagat is um, got this Branti, Pitwa, Mohamayi. Unmatta Bhutam Jagat. So when you understand this, we will not ask why people are behaving like this. On one day, at least 25 times we are asking this question. Just watch from today, I tell you. Just today itself you watch. I have a father, why? I do not know why he is behaving like this. And mother also. And if you go to company, so many people, so many people, you will hear at least 10, 25 times why people are behaving like this. Many people are telling like, Sir, unmatta bhutam, unmatta bhutam jagat. They will behave like this only. Why? Pitwa Mohamayim Pramada Madhiram Unmatta Bhuram Jan. So they drink very different kind of uh, brandy. Therefore, they are behaving like this. When we study this sloka, we will not ask this question why people are behaving like this. Why we understood that. So Vedanta, whenever we study Vedanta, there are so many questions we will not ask. We will become so silent. Why? Right? We understand. Swami Vivekananda told to his uh, fellow students, so many students studied uh, from Ramakrishna Paramahansa at the end of uh, his life, Swami Vivekananda. is going to uh, attain Samadhi. So end the time, end the period of his life, he was discussing with his friends, other Swamis. 
So I have done my job going all over the world, given lectures, and I have done my job. Now I will suggest one thing. So you have to teach Vedas to our generation, our people. Make some arrangement to teach Vedas. Vedas means what he meant, Vedanta only. When we teach Veda, this knowledge will eradicate all the superstitions from our people mind. You getting it? So he suggested that study is more important to remove unnecessary things from our mind. See, he recommended, he, that, he, he told that. So when our Swami Vivekananda had that kind of Sankalpa, Gurudev came and Gurudev brought the study of Vedanta. So that Sankalpa is one side, the work from other side. So Gurudev brought this Vedanta. Now when we study the Vedanta, we will not ask the question, why people are behaving like this? Why? We understood. Unmatta Bhudam Jagatu. They will behave like this only. What ordinary person is asking that question, we never ask. Why? We understand that. It will be like that only. Repeatedly you tell that person he will not listen. We understand. So many times I told you, you will not listen. That I understood. Therefore, I am not telling anything to you. That's all. You getting it? When you study Vedanta, we become so gentle and we will not ask so many questions. We understand. This will work like that only. Okay? The whole world is behaving like this. Why? Pitva Mohamayim Pramada Madhiram. Even though they see Janma Murtu Jara, they will not get uh, Vairagya. Okay? They are engaged with so many activities, they do not know the time is going away. The world is like that one. You cannot change it. Excuse me. You have to live with people like this. Okay? We are not here to change these people. So what our Gurudev says, you are not here to change this universe. You are here to clean yourself, to get out from this universe. That's what Gurudev says. We have to understand that I want to change this world. I want to, sir, it's not possible. That is not our duty. We have come here to <laughs> clean ourselves, to make ourselves ready and get out from the universe. Okay, when we are cleaning ourselves in, in this laboratory, other people also will get benefit out of our activity. That's all. So we have gone to university to study, get knowledge, to come out of the university. We are not going there to serve professors, assistant professor, and the development of the university. So people are there to take care of all those things. What is your job? You are a student. Go there, study, come out. Okay, the whole universe is made up of the, uni the Lord, Almighty Lord, and He knows how to take about, take care of this universe. So our job, our role, go there, <laughs> learn, study, get out like popcorn. From this popcorn, note that popcorn will revolve in that mission. You see how to come out. Okay, so one more tabu, one more tabu, them jagatu. Human lifespan is very interesting what he is going to discuss. All the slokas are observing this universe and he is giving the message of life. Okay, all the philosophy, philosophical thought, observation, and recording. This is like laboratory. Our um, Badruhari is working like is working in the laboratory, how the person will work in the laboratory and takes all the notes and recording it in the same way. The whole world is laboratory, observing, and he is writing all his observation. We are reading it and we are also understanding it. Okay? Now, lifespan. This sloka and meaning, lifespan. This is very nice look. Ayuhu varshasatam nrinam parimitam. Ratrav tadartam gatam. As I read, you will understand. Asi ardasya parasacha ardam aparam balatva vurdatva yoho. Okay. Sesham vyadi vyoga vyadi. Understand. Vyadi. Vyadi also comes. Sesham vyadi vyoga dukkha sagitam seva di vihi niyate. Jeeve vari taranga chanchalatare saukyam kutapraninam. Saukyam kutapranina. 
the whole life span is divided time management we are not managing time time is managing our life is what he says okay now the meaning ayuhu varsha satam dranam parimitam man's men's life span is limited to a 100 years maximum maximum 100 years in the question paper also it maximum mark 100 marks we never get it we never get it 40 marks uh, pass mark okay so maximum is 100 years before that we'll, we know we will wind up suddenly some disease comes suddenly some accident comes something happens but maximum 100 years ayuhu varsha satam dranam parimitam 100 years have been given ratrau tadartam gatam ratro during night time half of our life has gone tadartam means half of it it is spent in the darkness of nights sleep there is no use in that time we are not using in the night time completely wasted so from 100 years tadartam 50 years has gone When we analyze our own life, he never thought that, is it? Oh, wow. Even 100 years, 50 years, now suppose you take 70 years, then 35 years. Huh. Then what? Then he says, in the next slogan, 50 years has gone, okay? Now, Tasya ardasya parasya ardam aparam balatu vridhatva yoho. From that 50, the remaining 50, balatva vridhatva yoho. Okay. After the remaining half, half is spent in childhood and a old age. 25 years has gone. Minus 50, sir. 50 minus 25, sir. Now 25, okay. <laughs> remaining 25 years. Remaining 25 years. Sesham vyadi viyoga dukkha sagitam seva adi bhi niyate. So this 25 years, we kept kept 25 years to, de to devote our life for Vyadi. <laughs> Vyadi. Vyadi Vyoga. Vyoga means separation from our family members. Vyadi. All kinds of Vyadi will start after 30. Ayyoh. Ayyoh. Get the tablet. Then after 25, 30, we will, we will have a tablet dabba. Different, different dabba. The section also in that, that dabba. Nicely made um, what do you call, plastic box. Sesham vyadi viyoga dukkha sagitam. All other dukkham sal. Seva adhi So we do few activities to handle this. 25 years also gone. So meaningless life we are, we are leading when we analyze like that. So, Bhartrahari is analyzing our lifespan. Okay? And the rest, illness, bereavements, and vexation, service of others. Seva Adhibi, we do service to ourselves and service to other people. Small, small service. Jeeve vari taranga chanchalatari saukyam gutap praninam. Very nice word. Where is the happiness for creatures whose life is as fickle as the ripple of the water? Vari Tarange. Vari Taranga means uh, the waves in the ocean. Jeeve in the jeev, in the Jeevitam, Vari Tarange. Chanchalatare. It's not permanent. The life itself is not permanent. Chanchalam. In that life, the time is going like that. Then in that kind of life, Saukyam Praninam Kutaha. Where we are getting happiness? The great question. is asking question. Saukyam Kutapranayam. You analyze your life, then you tell me Saukyam Kutapranayam. Where is Saukyam the Samsara Jeevit? Only we are imagining that sir. So we see our account in the number. So many hundreds of dollars we have. We are happy. Only seeing the number. Okay. When you take like this, so many things. Just we imagine, we imagine that we are happy. 
I do not know how to convey, but he conveys very nicely. Saukyam kutap pranina. There is happiness. These analyses will bring viraga in our mind. Are you getting point? Are you getting the point? Why he is analyzing so so many or that our lifespan? When we analyze this kind of lifespan, slowly, 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 we start thinking in that direction. When we start uh, reflecting about this truth, then slowly we will get viraga, vigadarag. Unconsciously, we will develop this kind of detachment. After some time, we come to know, okay, I am okay, I am very good. I do not know how I grew up like this. Slowly, slowly, we are doing that kind of reflection inside because of this message. Unconsciously, we are developing that kind of detachment. If some problem comes suddenly at that time, we understand, I'm not getting affected. I do not know what happened to me. Sir, you reflected so many years. You do not know that. Therefore, we are, you are able to withstand this kind of problem. You're getting it? This is called spiritual strength, spiritual growth. Okay? The mental maturity will get. So, analyzing this, the lifespan is, we are using very little, productive time is very little. Half of the time goes in sleep. So sleep means what? Directly you lie down on the bed and sleep. That is useless time. So directly we are on the bed and sleeping. That is one. Whenever we come to class, particularly in the not the virtual class, you go and sit in the class. Upanishad class and Bhagavad Gita class. And he takes it. I am in me. They are in me. I am not in them. Finished. <laughs> they are in me. I am not in them. When you don't get that point, slowly your eyes are closing. Because you cannot go. One hour you have to sit. Doors are closed. You are, you are very enthusiastic students. So you came and sat in the first line. First front line. What kind of suffering we experience? Le? <laughs> we are sleeping in the class. When somebody drives in the car, so sitting next to the driver, sleeping. Go inside. You go friends, backside. All the direction you... So there also we spend so many time, so many years. Very nice analysis. The same point, the same analysis, you see in Bhagavadam also, in Prahalada Charitam, Prahalada brings this idea. This sloka from Prahalada Charita. Prahalada says, Pumsam Varsha Satam, for a human being, they are getting 100 years. Okay? Ayuhu, Tadartam, Ajitatmanaha, Nishvaram, Yadasau, Ratriyam. So, Ratriyam, Tadartam are getting it, Varsha Satam. 100 years, then 50 years, they are losing. There and there during night time. Same sloka, same point. Seshe andam pratapitabha. Seshe te. They are sleeping on the bed. They are, 50 years are going in darkness. Andam prapitas tamaha. Mugdasya bale. Bala kaumare. Vimshati. 20 years. So he is reducing 5 years and he is 20 years. In bali avastha, kumara avastha. Jaraya grastha dehasya. All knee pain, low pressure, high pressure, heart problem, all the jaraya grasa yati, 20 years. Okay? Here he says, here 50 years has gone. Here 20 years, 20 years. Balya vasta, yavana vasta, and jaraya grasa dehasi. Durapure na kame na mohe na chabaliyas, then unnecessary um, desires. Sesham griheshu. Durapura in a kame, mohair by deletion, sesham grigeshu, some activities of our home. Cleaning the home and cleaning the car, <laughs> all the things. Sesham grigeshu saktasya, pramatasya, ko grigeshu puman sakta. Prahalada is analyzing 100 years in Bhagavadam, 7th canto of Srimad Bhagavad. Same idea. Okay? What Bhartruhari analyzed, Prahalada also analyzed. And one more, Tondradi Podiyar, what Thirumali, one more person also analyzing in Tamil language. Prahalada, Sanskrit. Bhartruhari also Sanskrit. 
In Tamil also one person analyzed. Tondradi Podi Alvar. Among 12 great devotees of Lord Vishnu. Greatest devotees of Lord Vishnu. 12 people they lived in Tamil Nadu. So one person is called Tondradi Podi Alvar. This person, the sloka. Vedam Noor, all these people are telling Vedam Noor, Prayam Noor, Noor means 100. Prahalada also says 100 years. Bhartruhari also says 100 years. Noor, Manisartam Bhuguerilum, Padi Murangi Pogum, Padi means 50, Urangi means sleep. Immediately when we take our 100 years, the, immediately the first point what they say, 50 years are going in deep sleep. Waste of time. The maximum years, and what to talk about the people, those who lived 60 years or 50 years. <laughs> you getting it? So we do not have very productive time to make use of that time to get released from this bondage. That's the point. Nindradil padanayyandu. Pedai balagan nadagum, pashi pini pashi muputtundu, madalal paravi vende narangamana guru nani. Then the pedai balagan, balagan. Pashi, Pini, Muput, old age, hunger, thirst, all the time. So, 100 years I am wasting like this. Adalal Peravi means I do not want any birth. Arangamanagurulana. Arangamanagurulana means O Ranganada, Lord Ranganada, who is living in Srirangam, Trichy, Tamil Nadu. The Lord of the Universe is lying down. Lord Narayana, Srirangam. Says, so O Lord Narayana, I don't want to get another birth. Why? In this birth, 100 years you have given me. But all the time, I'm wasting like this one. This is what he says. The great... Um, so whenever we think about our own lifespan, we are getting vairagya. Therefore, he analyzed. Is it okay? So like that, in so many places, it's the same parallel thoughts in many places. The, the world is stage. Very good. This is not like uh, yeah, not like the, the parallel, the small thought will be. Uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare's the whole world is stage. He says so, so many stages. From uh, birth. Different, different stage we move. Okay. So the, here also he says world is stage. This is a common thought. The common man also will get this kind of thought. It's not very the brilliant thought. Common thought. But we have to reflect on that. But this stage, okay, this stage, this is a very simple common thought only. When you study, you can understand very simple thought. But even though it's a simple thought, when you reflect, we get a vairagya. For that only he brought this. And if you study Panchadashi, there is one, uh, one adhyaya, it's called Nataka Deepa. You know down, the Shakespeare is giving, considering the whole world is a stage. Different stage we move from one stage to next stage. Kaumaram, Yavanam, Jara like that. So Bhagavad Gita says only three stages. The Shakespeare is a little, what a, um, making it a little longer. I think nine stage, he says seven stage. Seven, huh? Yeah, ma, ma, but I know more than three. There is seven stage, he says. Here also, Bhattrahari brings a few stages. But if you study uh, Panjadasi, he is going a little deeper. Our Vidyarinya Swami, great person. <laughs> you see, what is stage? Who is the dancer there? Who is making the, who, who are all the musicians? Who is the dancer? Who is the owner of the stage? Okay, very brilliant idea of Vedanta is brought out by our Vidyarinya Swami in Panchadashi. The name is called Nataka Deepa. Okay? So he goes a little deeper, very great person. If you have time, just go through that Nataka Deepa in Panchadashi. So here the stage is very ordinary stage only he is bringing here. Now you see the whole world, it's working like stage. This is a sloka. Now Kshanam balo bhutva, kshanam api yuva, yuva kama rasikaha. Kshanam vittaihi hi naha, kshanam api cha sampoorna vivabaha. Jara jirnaihi angaihi nathaiva, 
ಬಲಿ ಮಂಡಿತ ತನು ನರ ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಂದೇ ವಿಷತಿ ಯಮ ದಾನೀಯ ವಲ್ ಯಮ ದಾನೀಯ ವನಿಕಾಂ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಫೈ ಇರ್ಲೆ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಫೈ when you get some problem people will come and pacify so don't worry don't worry the pacify don't push it pacify <laughs> silence a nice name also can pacify karanam <laughs> balo bhutva for a moment like a child for a moment only the child no. just you you give birth to your child just on you know, 2 3 years 5 years has become like a big boy 5 6 years okay there are in those days you were looking like a devata now you started looking like a rakshasa kutti what is this i never thought the rakshasa thing will be there in uh, so you guru all the rakshasas will come out kshana very, very quickly they grow ಕ್ಷಣಂ ಬಾಲೋ ಭೂತ್ವ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಲೋ ಭೂತ್ವ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ವೈ ಪೂರ್ವ ಜನ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ದ ರೀಚ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಚೈನೀಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ very beautiful child oh what a good. oh and you started talking to this child the child of oh you want uh, milk no 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 ah i understand mother speaks a different language only mother understands kshana very quickly they grow the schools and all we see the children where yeah, I, i have made this akshara abhyasam for so many children i don't know suddenly they have what is that grown and they went out of the school also what a pavi what is happening here small babies what are they keeping them on my lap i have done this akshara for so many children you see it's very different experience to look this children in front of you they are growing and going out of the school ಸಿ ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯ ಕ್ಷಣೋ ಬಾಲೋ ಕ್ಷಣ ಬಾಲೋ ಭೂತ ಕ್ಷಣಮಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ ಥೂ ದೇಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ ಓಡ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಥೂ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಕ್ಷಣಮಿ ಯುವ ಯುವ ಅಖಾವ ರಸಿಕ ನೋ ನೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ that after another moment kamarasika it's very difficult to control these people in india you can scold them hey don't go there hey don't hey don't and there you cannot do anything you, you cannot say hey and they will say hey so you cannot enter into their private life yuva and they think they imagine that they know everything next okay and you also as god all the style everything uh, so many things they almost they do they behave like mad person the hair style and they do not take bath for 3 days <laughs> you, you you suffer like anything because you are a spiritual person what is your age 40 plus so you put bindi and you clean yourself and you you are like devata in that house but this boy is behaving like rakshasa kutti dey take bath ma ma i know when to take bath change the dress da so one one dress what you call this the pant particularly the blue color pant eh? jeans i don't know who invented the jeans once if you wear the jeans or one month also no need to clean it no need to wash it it will look like same car <laughs> brilliant invention <laughs> eh 
book will be here bag will be here one shoe will be here another way. amma where is another shoe day you only have the shoe here where is another shoe so you are taking the shoe out you call immediately one shoe okay with another shoe he comes inside the house therefore the another shoe is under the sofa okay are you very difficult to handle this you are very difficult ಕ್ಷಣ ವಿತ್ತಹೀನ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅನದರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ತಹಿ ಒನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಪರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ತಹೀನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಮನಿ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೋ ಪೂವರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಷಣ ಅಪಿಸ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ವಿಭವ ಗೈನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೋ ರಿಚ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಯೂತ್ ಅನದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮನಿ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ loses all the money in the business okay now jara jirnahi angahi nataiva again he becomes so old jara jirnahi angahi nataiva bali mandita tanuhu at the end of life the body worn out by age and covered with the wrinkles nataiva nataiva means like uh, actor like actor bale yuva and old age is one a single person you take our own photograph now what is your age 75 75 now we can take selfie no need to have photograph selfie the selfie we take childhood and youth and middle age all this in some house i have seen that america only some house uh, they kept all this child's photo different different uh, the stage i have seen two three places i have seen childhood and after god the 18 then after 40 very nice kind of uh, photos to remind our uh, scriptures idea okay now jara jirnahi angai hi jara jirna angai so all this limbs have become uh, what do you call the powerless nataiva vali mandita tanohu vali mandita tanu vali means the wrinkles started coming all over face nataiva the, 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 the example he gives like actor nataiva okay nataiva so after that what happens now see this is this is the stage i brought okay this is a stage very stylish stage stage so the man came here and he started doing some role what kind of role small child bala then yuvaka vitaihi hinaha so sometimes he is rich sometimes he becomes poor then after that what happened the last last role what is doing takes stick and walking very slowly at the stage where is he going he is going behind the screen are you getting it so going behind the screen our bartrhari uh, uh, says naraha samsarante vishati samsarante at the end of life man enters abode of death like an actor exist ex- exit exiting this stage exit naraha samsarante vishati yamadani yamadaniya vanikam yamadaniya vanikam means the screen okay the behind the screen so we are going behind the screen behind the screen is called abode of death so he is making the whole world as a stage the brilliant point almost the same point our um, shakespeare also bring the same point but he is not telling yamadani yavanika here he says they are hiding themselves behind the screen of abode of death the, this word is very brilliant word here yamadani yavani yamadani yavanika yamadana means death abode of death so we are hiding so we came th- from this side only and this is a stage okay we came from this side started walking second stage, third stage fourth stage last stage with the stick and slowly we are going we are not going out four people will come and they will take us right we are lying down this four people will take 
behind the screen. So we are acting on the stage. The whole world is like a stage. What a brilliant idea. You are in which stage? If people are, you are in which, which stage? If they ask, we have to tell you. About to go behind the screen. Almost I finished all the roles. We start thinking after middle of this role only. After middle of the role only, we start thinking all the whether the idea, whether the idea will come. Before 25, we will not get. We will be busy with our activities. So as we are moving towards the screen, end of the screen, then we will get all these matured thoughts. <clears throat> the point is, whole world is like stage. And we enter and we hide behind the screen. What is that screen? Rajadani. Yamaraja. Yamadani. Yamadani Yavanikam. So many times we appeared on the stage. So many times we disappeared. Uh, another beauty. In one stage of... <laughs> great thing. In one... What that? Stage. We, we became... Animal. One stage. Another stage, okay. Like butterfly, you said. Okay? But another stage. Another stage like worm. There also we have eyes. There are so many janmas we have taken when we used to this stage. We are very, very much what that familiar about this stage. Stage means the whole universe. So many times we came and we disappeared. We came and disappeared. Yamaraji Yatanik. What a great. When we analyze like this, slowly we will get what we call um, Vairagya. Why is telling all these things? When we think again and again this kind of thing, when we are very popular with this sloka, when we meet with some accident or death, we are not, that death will not create a great impact in our mind. You getting it? Because we know the idea that this is like a stage, people are um, having some role. After some role, they have to disappear. When we understand the fact of the life, if some, something happens, we will not get disturbed so much. The disturbance will be there, not that much. Otherwise, you see, sudden shock comes, the people are not able to withstand, they go mad. There are so many people I have seen, because they are not able to bear the, the pain of the life, they become mad. They lose their balance of mind. You getting it? So the positive thing about the students, those who are studying Vedanta, this idea, simply we, we hear the idea, this is like a stage, one day we have to disappear. Disappear, disappear. He is telling very poetically, but we understand disappearing means death. We understand that. So this thought goes inside. So many times it is coming out. So many times it is coming out. Unconsciously we are reflecting about this thought. When sudden shock comes, so we are also shaken, but we know how to come out very quickly. Are you getting that? Ah, this is the power of Vedanta. We should we no need to worry that I'm not I'm not able to uh, implement it. I'm not able to do it. I'm telling unconsciously it's going inside. You are special when you study Vedanta. You are special only. Why? The thought has gone inside. I think definitely we know that. How the man is uh, taking away his old cloth and uh, uh, getting into new cloth the same way death happens. When this idea goes inside, we know the pain of the death, but we understand. Suddenly the thought comes. It is like that only. The mind consoles itself with this knowledge. Yeah, the impact is there. Therefore, study itself is great blessings. The thought itself is great blessings. Okay, This is like Raja Yama Raja Yamadani Yavanikam. So we are going behind the screen. Behind the screen means Yama, the Lord of Yama. That means we are dying from this world. The whole world is like, so we have to understand this truth. Okay, The message for mind is going another point. Message for mind. Yes, that day I told, <coughs> he's talking about uh, all the he's talking about all the universal truth to his own mind. 
ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಹರಿ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಹರಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾವ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಈ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಒಂದು ಮೇನಿ ಪರಿಭ್ರಮಸಿ ಕಿಂ ವೃತ ಕ್ವಚನ ಚಿತ್ತ ವಿಶ್ರಮ್ಯತ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹೇ ಚಿತ್ತ ಓ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಏ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಔ ಯು ನೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸಮ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಮೀ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಡ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೈಕಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಹರಿ ಬರ್ತ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಏ ಚಿತ್ತ ಏ ಚಿತ್ತ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಏ ಚಿತ್ತ ಮೀನ್ ಹೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಶ್ರಮ್ಯತ ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ ಯಥಾ ಭವತಿ ತತ್ ತಥಾನ ಅನ್ಯತ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ ತಥಾ ಯತ್ ಯಥಾ ಭವತಿ ತತ್ ತಥಾ ಭವತಿ ನ ಅನ್ಯತಾ ಭವತಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಭವತಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ ಯಥಾ ಭವತಿ ತತ್ ತಥಾ ಭವತಿ ನ ಅನ್ಯತಾ ಭವತಿ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ ಯಥಾ ಭವತಿ ತತ್ ತಥಾ ಭವತಿ ನ ಅನ್ಯತಾ ಭವತಿ 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 ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ತಥಾ ಭವತಿ ಯಥಾ ಭವತಿ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಲೋಕ್ ಅತೀತ ಅಪಿ ನ ಸ್ಮರಣ್ ಅಪಿ ಚ ಭಾವಿ ಅಸಂಕಲ್ಪಯರ್ ಅತಕ್ ಅತರ್ಕಿತ ಸಮಾಗಮಾನ ಅನುಭವ ಸ್ವ ಭೋಗಾನಿ ಹೇ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಭೋಗಾನಿ ಅನುಭವ ಸ್ವ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ನಡ ಅದು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾ ರತಿನ್ ಕೃತ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ನೌ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅನ್ ಅವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ರತಿ ಮಾ ಕೃತ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ಇದ್ ಭೋಗ ಅನುಭವ ಸ್ವ ಭೋಗ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ I think he has got some problem. I am okay. I am okay. I am a brilliant student. I am always a brilliant student. What are the topic I study? But this man is not good. So he is telling you, enjoy this world. You, you decide and you tell me. I think you are confused. Too slow cause. Just after back you told, don't enjoy. Now you are telling enjoy. Tadekam vada nishchitya. Yena shreyoha maapniya. First you decide. <laughs> you tell me the shreyas. so that i can move forward is what arjuna also asked when krishna told arjuna as a krishna i think you are confused vyamishreneva vakyena buddhi moha is even adeka madha krishna first you decide and tell me da already i am confused your message is giving more confusion i want to get clarity but you are confusing more and he is demanding arjuna is demanding first you decide adapavi you are confused arjuna i am giving you message But arjuna says krishna I, i i think you are not good you see the condition of krishna okay krishna says adapavi i want to give you clarity but you are telling that i am not clear here just two three shlokas before he says mahkrita rathi give now his bogan anubhavasu bogani so what he means we will see this tomorrow okay very nice look anubhavasu you enjoy everything and this line is very brilliantly swayam bhavati yat yata bhavati tat tata bhavati na anyata bhavati <laughs> very nice line so we'll take up this tomorrow okay and uh, oh no very, very brilliant shloka very brilliant shloka the tomorrow we'll see that in the himalayas the man is sitting and uh, doing uh, meditation um, he, he went under samadhi at that time something happens so what is that date at the time i will get this kind of experience he is going to ask that simple example it's very nice okay tomorrow i think tomorrow is last date eh? 
Yes, Samiji. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll cover. <laughs> no need to worry. How can you cover? So only 62 slokas. We are selected and we are doing it. Okay. Selected slokas only. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadai Purnameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Shri Guru Bhivanma Arihi Om